you want to know what the square root of 9 is, you have to ask yourself what number you'll have to square to get 9. In other words, which number multiplied by itself would result in 9? The answer is simple, 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. It gets more tricky if you want to figure out the square root of a negative number, because any negative number multiplied by itself will always produce a positive result. For this particular problem, mathematicians have made up a number that will produce negative 1 when squared, or which is the result of the square root of negative 1. And they called it imaginary number. The amazing part is that if electromagnetism or quantum mechanics happens to be one of your hobbies, you'll end up using that imaginary number to calculate real results. If you think that those crazy mathematicians and their imaginary numbers have nothing to do with your everyday life, Think again. I mean, just try to hold the $50 that you owe to the bank in your own hand. Negative numbers are pretty obvious nowadays, but the church has demonized them as Arabic witchcraft just a couple of hundred years ago, because negative numbers are imaginary too. They do not exist in the material world. Just imagine, you have a cup of coffee with minus one cookies in it. It means that if you put a cookie into that coffee, your coffee doesn't contain any cookies at all. Well. Temperatures can fall below the freezing point, yeah, but it depends on the unit you measure with. It's like setting the ground floor level of a house to create a certain amount of basement levels. Imaginary numbers do not exist in the real material world, but they still help us to get a better understanding of the real world we live in. We use them every day and believe in their value, and thus we make them real. And maybe we should consider a new name for them, a name that mirrors their true value for us. Do you have any ideas or suggestions? Share them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Optimal Brain Damage.